when you enter the nursery, this is kind of like the first area that you see. Um, this picture here is from Joanne Fabrics. It was actually part of their Easter stuff, so unfortunately, I don't know that that can be repurchased, but I just thought that the bunny with the flower crown was just really precious, and it kind of went with our um, kind of whole Alice in Wonderland whimsical theme. Okay, so then when you come in, there is a mirror next to the door, like that's the hallway there. There is a gold mirror that is from Target, um, and then I just have this really cute butterfly wallflower plugged in there. Um, A Thousand Wishes is definitely the scent that we have gone with for the nursery. It just smells really fresh and pretty and clean. Um, we have to get new closet doors still. We hung up the ones that were in here, but unfortunately, you can tell they're warped. Something happened. I'm not really sure, but um, when we had the carpet ripped out and had the hardwood floors refinished, we noticed that these ones are warped. We just haven't gotten around to repurchasing, but these little bow knobs are from uh, Anthropology. This print is something that I had ordered off of Etsy. Like I said, I will try and link what I can. Um, there's kind of a glare on it from the window, but it just says, do you suppose she's a wildflower, Alice in Wonderland? And then the frame itself I got from Target as well. Um, now, the glider, or the rocking chair, I went with a true rocking chair um, that's tufted, as you can see here. This was a Babies R Us purchase. Um, it was a special order purchase that we had ordered literally like two weeks before they um, announced that they were going out of business. So because of that, it was an exclusive piece. I'm not going to be able to link this exact one. I might be able to try and find something similar. Um, so we have that here and it's just, it's kind of like a perfect neutral CND brown. I think they do actually call the color sand, which I was afraid would be too warm toned, but it's it's perfect. And then the rocking bases, which I don't know if you can really see, um, match our floor almost perfectly. And then this little blanket here was just from TJ Maxx, but I really loved the colors and it's super soft, so I figured that would be perfect to just kind of leave on the um, back of the chair. And then this poof here is from Target. It is still available um, with all like the blush pink stuff. I saw this as one of the first purchases I made when we found out we were having a little girl because I knew I wanted a poof like this. This was like 50 bucks, I think. Um, which I thought was a really good deal, so that's that. Um, this little side table here is from World Market. I will go ahead and link that. Um, it's really great quality. I was a little nervous. The reviews were kind of iffy, but I don't know. The one that I received is perfect. I don't have any complaints. Um, this is just a little stuffed animal that my mom just picked up for us that I haven't taken out of the packaging yet. Um, the little pig princess was a gift. Um, it was from a little local boutique, but I believe you can get very similar ones, if not the exact same one, from um, Bye Bye Baby. I've seen very similar ones. And then this little dish here is from Target. It was in the dollar spot during Valentine's Day, and I just filled it with pacifiers. Um, as far as the curtains and drapery go, a little difficult to see. The curtain rod itself is from Target as well. It's extremely hard to find a curtain rod that's gold, that's pretty. Um, I've had a really difficult time with that. And then these shears that have gold um, like stitching through them, I believe are from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Um, this set of three mirrors here is also from Target. Um, I have some baskets full of books and things. The three set, or the polka dot one was a three set that I got from um, Babies R Us. And then that is the humidifier that we chose. It's Motorola. I'll try and link it. And then this is obviously like the focal point of her nursery. So yes, you all know her name by now, which is Sloane. Um, 
the name we got off of Etsy, the flowers we got off of Etsy. The crib is from a local um, children's furniture store, but the brand is Stella Baby and it is the Carrington crib. And we also have the matching dresser. Um, and this is in, I believe it's called Country White. I will try and um, link that. So then up here, this is from um, Babies R Us, I think, but they have it other places. This is the Lionheart brand, and it is this really sweet bunny that has its ears covered, or eyes covered, but it also is like a sound machine um, that you can attach to the crib, and then it has this box inside that um, makes noise. Sorry, my cord's in the way. That makes noise. Um, but we just have it propped up on the edge of this crib. I think that's really, really sweet um, up there, like so. And then on this side, we just have our monitor um, there. This in the crib, we have our dock -tot. I know that they say that you should not put an infant in a crib in a dock -tot. I understand that. Um, it's just where it's being housed right now. These sheets are from Baby, uh, Bye Bye Baby, and they're just really cute little swans. And then we also have this little lovey that was actually purchased um, the day that we were sent to the reproductive endocrinologist. We had our referral. Um, I went and I picked up just a few things to kind of... Um, have to take on our journey so this is really special and that's why it's just propped kind of in the corner and then in this corner I have another one of those baskets that was part of the three set and it's full of all of her toys <laughs> um, a lot of them are still in packaging obviously we won't be using a ton of those for a while this is our diaper pail we went with the ubi pail because you can um, use your own garbage bags in that um, it was a little bit pricier, but I think in the long run it'll be worth it. And we just got it in white. It looks a little gray right now, but it is white. And then this is the other main wall in the nursery. So up here I have three prints from Alice in Wonderland. I'm so sorry, the glare is really bad. But they're all dictionary pages um, with Fairyland, if you can see it. And then there's different... Alice um, drawings on them. So we have Alice and the rabbit. We have the actual tea party here. And then we have the bunny over there as well. So these I put in floating frames that I got from Target. I just really love the way that it looks. Um, it's very just, it's whimsical, but I feel like as she grows, a lot of these things can be changed out without having to completely redo her room if that's what we boil down to. Um, and then on top of her dresser, I just have this little caddy that was actually a baby shower gift. Um, and there we have her monitor. Um, I'm filming this before she's even born. I'm 27 weeks, no, 37 weeks and five days today. So that's why I'm out of breath. <laughs> so why, um, I figured I would do this before Things get a little chaotic in here. But I just have a few diapers in there. I have some booty paste, sanitizer, lotion, baby wipes um, in the caddy. And then I have on top of the um, dresser, her changing pad. This is the Skip Pop one. It's very similar to the, oh, the peanut one. What is the brand on that? Um, Starts with a K, I believe. Um, this was a little bit more affordable. Um, it had really good reviews, and it comes with like the little mobile. I just really liked this one, so we went with that. And then these are some things that I have to exchange because we got doubles, so those don't typically sit there. But then we have this lamp, which is another one of my favorite pieces. This is from Pottery Barn Kids. I um, don't know if you can see it you can see it a little bit better there but it is a rabbit and then I actually have my flower crown from my baby shower that I just dried and set on the top um 
which I think is really sweet. The lamp was, um, it was a little bit of a pricier item, um, to be honest, but it was so cute and I thought it matched her room and her theme really, really well. Um, and that's just sitting on a copy of Alice in Wonderland. Um, this we had at my baby shower and we actually had everyone sign um, and write a note to baby girl in there. So it's really sweet, but I figured it was really pretty just to kind of prop the other things up. And then I have this really cute little swan um, piggy bank. It doesn't really go with Alice in Wonderland, but I thought it was really, really sweet and pretty and I liked that. And then that right there is just the remote to the rabbit. So that is her room in its entirety. I forgot the chandelier. <laughs> the chandelier was a um, online purchase. It was really, really affordable. It was less than $100. I will try and find and link that as well. Um, but I just think it, it makes the room. It's really sweet and pretty. Um, and I love it. So this is little girl's room in its entirety. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if there's anything that I forgot to link below, let me know, and I can try and find that for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.